Hey, Patriots. So what we have talked about so far is we have talked about uh, how to classify an angle, tell if it's acute, right, obtuse, or straight. And we talked about how we're going to name an angle. Like this angle is named RSV because we trace it. The blue angle is RSV. This video lesson is going to talk about the angle addition postulate, what that means for us. And then when we come into class tomorrow, we're going to use it to find the measure of unknown angles. So the angle addition postulate states, adding the measure of two adjacent angles uh, equals the measure of the full angle. So notice we have two angles inside a bigger angle. What this says, if we take the measure of angle TAS, let's trace that out. TAS, this inside angle, plus the measure of angle, the M stands for measure, how many degrees it is, in angle PAS, that equals the angles, the degrees, I'm sorry, the measure of angle TAP, the degrees in this outside angle. Yellow plus blue equals green. Part plus part equals whole thing. Makes sense. Add the two inside pieces and I get the entire length. That is the angle addition postulate. Let's see how that's going to work. So we are told angle TAS is 45. TAS is 45. This is angle TAS. It is 45 degrees. And PAS, PAS is 84 degrees. PAS right here, this guy is 84 degrees. Let's find the measure of angle TAP. Angle TAP, TAP, that angle on the outside. What does the rule say? Our rule says inside plus inside equals whole thing. Yellow plus blue equals green. So our yellow angle is 45 plus our blue angle 84 will equal the green angle, the outside angle, which is uh, 129. Boom. So we are going to do more complicated problems with this when we come into class. So if you have any questions, make sure you ask and you get them answered before we start. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Patriots. Have a great evening.